We got through it last year and we can do it again. That is the hope of transportation officials as crews get ready to shut down one of only a few ways in and out of East Boston. If you're a commuter going in and out of East Boston or if you're somebody who's trying to get to Logan Airport, you should expect to see some impacts. From July 5th at midnight to August 5th, the Sumner Tunnel will be closed to traffic, part of the $160 million rehabilitation project of the nearly 100-year-old tunnel. We're really encouraging residents to, to do what they can to take advantage of, of those uh, variety of mitigation efforts. That includes free trips along the MBTA's Blue Line, free reduced cost ferry trips, free and reduced parking at MBTA and commuter rail lots, and discounted tolls for residents who need to drive over the Tobin Bridge and through the Ted Williams Tunnel. We really want to reserve as much uh, capacity on the roadways for those, those folks who don't have any other opportunities. Last year, work was done to repair the tunnel ceiling. This year, it's all about the driving surface. MassDOT officials say time already spent in the tunnel allowed engineers to cut this year's closure in half from two months down to just one. The advantage of being in the tunnel and having it closed and getting getting really up close and getting our engineers in there and really mapping out the work that's going to happen now really was a huge advantage. After August 5th, there will be a series of weekend closures for the Sumner Tunnel. However, many are needed to finish the work. Once that is all completed, it should extend the lifespan of the tunnel for at least another 75 years. I'm Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.